April is Autism Acceptance Month, and for the Eagles, autism is really an everyday commitment. Their annual Eagles Autism Challenge raised more than $3 million this past year. So where does that money go? NBC Sports Philadelphia's Danny Palmel says more on the team's research and community grant initiatives. One of the Eagles' biggest days of the year has nothing to do about football. What started with this idea of raising funds translated into so much more once we got this off the ground. The Eagles Autism Challenge gave birth to the Eagles Autism Foundation, or EAF, which is impacting families in the Delaware Valley. The birds raised $3.1 million in 2020 and distribute the funding through grants ranging from 10 to 400,000 bucks. On April 15th, they went about the rigorous work of determining which organizations deserved those allotments. I, I thought the work was of high significance for, for future research in this domain. We have someone on brain imaging, someone on genetics and microbiome. So we have all these experts that span the country, like I said, representatives from Harvard, from Brown, from Children's Hospital in Seattle, from UCLA. So here's how it works. The Eagles bring together a renowned group of scientists who then break up into smaller groups to score and evaluate all of the finalists before the last round of scoring, before the entire group determines who gets funding. Usually under these circumstances, the birds would fly in all of these acclaimed experts to do this passionate, detailed work in person, but that's not possible during a global pandemic. So this year, it's a virtual undertaking. And doing things virtually was something one of the Eagles Community Grant Award recipients, the Elwin Foundation, needed help with from the EAF. You know, with them doing early intervention, they're hands on with kids in classrooms. Well, you now you have families at home and you have parents that need to partner through telemedicine to deliver these services for their kids. Well, when you have non English speaking households, how does that work? And without translators, these children wouldn't have access to their services which essentially not just affects their development today, but their life's trajectory. To join the Eagles and become a part of this enthusiastic cause or to see the recipients of this year's round of funding, log on to eaglesautismchallenge.org. Danny Pommels, NBC Sports Philadelphia.